Ушли и морда. Welterweight Division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who's really good at And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his whole body with that body kick. Now going upstairs with the left hook. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big elbow. Look at how 
how he drives his team right into his opponent's midsection. Both section. guys appeared to land there. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. But this a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Ooh, what a punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, single collar tie here. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's doing that jab. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Single collar tie now. Went for the inside leg kick. Good punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with authority. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Lance with a right hand. Watch him with collar tie now. Can't take many of those, you better check. Let's go. Let's go. Right hand upstairs. Went for the inside leg kicks. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice strike. Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crutch. Take it for a oh. oh, Takes it for a ride. What a fantastic takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Both fighters get up now. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick lands. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Got the single collar tie. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big roundhouse now just misses. These guys are going at it. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the corner stop. Beat like that. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his best. Right hand on point. 
Nice kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right under the elbow, the body can land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And they separate. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes. and. Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to huh. right now to fire the video to look at beauty in action, and he was the one causing all the action. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these guys. You check these kicks or you're gonna be lifting around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Now you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is. And potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots in the top. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. My triangle, my triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up.
to be smart with your experience. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round was confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Beautiful kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the... Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Lee gets back up. There's no give on that leg kick. Beautiful left hand counter. Oh man, head to land. Again, they will clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back in range. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Oh, he's not going to get him, Oh. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Ovin St. Preux has got to like that transition there. I need you to get out of there now. <laughs> he got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get...